Good morning, Linux friends. I'm using E17, I think it's 17.6, an older version of E17, in 2019, the year of our Lord, even though I'm an atheist. Okay, but here goes. I keep coming back to E17. I keep using it because there are a couple of things uh, that, that bring me back and, uh, and, uh, and other things, but two main things. First, I can click anywhere on the desktop and get an applications menu. Now I know you can set XFCE or uh, LXDE to open an applications window, but I don't have to set this up here. It just opens wherever I want, left click, left click, and I can shut the system down. I can check out the applications. I don't have to always go down to the lower left, which where there also is a menu. I really like that. It's easy. Second thing, I can set pretty much all the windows to open where I want the size I want. It's really good. All right, for example, Synaptic. I can change the size of the window and I can set it up here and I close it and I reopen it and there it is. And why is that? Because most of the windows have an option. Click File. Oh wait, sorry. Most of the windows, you right click up here where there's a, sometimes there's an icon, sometimes there isn't. But there's a window uh, button. You go over here to Remember and you can click Size and Position. If I click Nothing the window may open up, it doesn't open up where you want it to go or the size you want it is. Size and position. So I can resize the window and put it wherever I want. It's really, it just saves me time. I don't, if the window opens up here, I don't have to drag it down to the center of the screen. The calculator. Let's move it over here. Close and I open it and it's over here. Now the calculator I can't resize some oh I can oh my god now some some of them don't some of them don't resize but I can still set it to where I want it to open which is really cool right click window down to remember size and position who does that so easily I love that that's this is one of the main reasons I come back to E17 it's really handy. Text window. Text window up here. I want it to open up there. Let's open it up again. It's up there. You can't beat it. Okay, maybe you can't. All right, another thing. The panel. The panel is so easy to configure. It's scary easy to configure. Not like the other XFCE or MX Linux uh, panels. This panel Let's just let's just go through it. Okay, these applications. There's something called iBar. iBar is where you put your your applications. Now you can do settings and click Show Icon Label. I always turn that off. It's a real pain in the ass. But I'll show you what it does. All of a sudden, I've got a intrusive intrusive file manager uh, text. I don't like that. So we turn that off and. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, did I turn it off? I didn't click Apply. All right, Settings. On click Apply. All right, fine. Let's go to iBar again. iBar. Contents. I've got an applications list of anything I want to add to this application launcher. It's very simple. Let's say I want to add Control Center. Add. Apply. And there it is. Now I don't like it at the, at the bottom here, so I go to order and click it and I can raise it up wherever I want it to go. Apply and there it is. Really simple. I love that. Now, if you don't want to have to open an iBar again, I just go to the icon, right click on it, icon control center, remove and it's gone really easy to configure your panel. If you don't want your uh, applications in the center of the screen, right-click, 
begin moving gadgets. And uh, see, over to the left, we've got our applications menu. Right here, I can move them over here. I don't like them over there because it tends to be easier for me to have them centered. I right click, stop moving, moving gadgets, and there they are. Begin moving gadgets, move them back over. I can move the clock, I can move uh, the calendar, the date, you know, I can, I can remove stuff too. So let's uh, stop moving gadgets. You don't have to worry about adding spaces to the panel, spacers to the panel, move them around. It's just too easy. I love that. If I lose this panel, it's very easy to click here, uh, left click, and I go to settings, and there are shelves. And I click, click, now that's my shelf at the bottom. I can just add a shelf again. I don't have to worry if I lose my panel. Now, yeah, you do have to reinstall your your uh, reload your applications to the because it opens with sort of a default num uh, applications in the I bar menu. But it's really easy. If I delete this panel at the bottom, all I have to do is add a panel, and you can uh, if I go add. Let's see what happens. I can tell what tell it now right now it's on the left. If you can see, I can set the panel where I want it to go. It's already over here and I can add stuff to the panel really easily. Uh, the applications, clock, pager, you know, it's it's crazy easy. Now I don't want that shelf, so let's see, delete. Uh, do I really want to delete? Yeah, I do. And it's gone. I can add it back easily. There's no, there's no worry. Another thing. There's a lot of things. The icons on the panel. I can choose the icons I want on the panel, regardless of the theme that's running. I mean, there is a theme. I'm using Arc Dark right now. But I have my own icons folder that I've had for years, the icons I like to use. This is synaptic. Why did I choose the green icon? I don't know. Let's say I right click on it. Icon synaptic. Go to properties. Right here I can click icon and I can change the icon to anything I want. And you click OK. Let's say for example icons. Well, this is my icon folder. I'm going to change it to the Chrome icon. Now why would I do that? I don't know. But look, there it is. Close. Now I want to change it back to what I had. <coughs> and we go to Home, Icons, and we look for my green funny icon here, because I like it. Apply. And I have an icon. I have all these icons. They're, they're custom icons. That's really cool, you know, I really like it. I want to have that choice easily to have my own icons. Why shouldn't I? Having the application open wherever I want, the menu, sorry, to open wherever I want, the icons for the applications I want, the window sizes, that brings me back to E17 all the time. Now let's go to the settings panel. Now right now I have the settings panel shaped like this. I could I could shape it uh, deeper, you know, or not as wide. I can set it over here, but I've got the window set to where I want it to open. And what's really cool is, you know, a lot of times screensavers start automatically or screens blank automatically. One of the first things I do after putting E17 is I go to screen blanking and I turn it off. It's usually turned on enable screen, turn it off. I don't have to worry about my screen blanking. Um, apps. Now on the desktop you can right click and you can you can have a favorites menu. You can make, you can set it to the right click of course to what you want but it's set for my favorites menu. Usually I have a longer list but I just reinstalled this yesterday after trying PC Linux again after many years. It gave me trouble man. Oh. All right, but if I want to add applications to my favorite applications, let's say I don't want them 
on the panel down below, but I want to add an applications to my favorite menu. Let's say firewall configuration. I click add and apply and close. And oh, I have to restart. Restart enlightenment. Okay. Now I right click. There's my firewall. That's pretty cool. I can have, you know, uh, you can also make your own uh, uh, personal uh, launchers really easy. If there isn't uh, an application in the list for the iBar, I can open up personal application and go add. And let's say I wanted a link to uh, USPS tracking online. I would name it USPS here. I would write in Google Stable Chrome or however it's named on your system. And then following, followed by the web address. I would add it. Then that would add it to the iBar menu. So I'd go back down here, open up iBar, contents, and your USPS would be in this list, which is really cool. I usually have it, like I said, I just reinstalled my system. I usually have a link directly to sh to the tracking of uh, USPS and FedEx in case I'm shipping something. Uh, it makes it really cool because sometimes you install you want a direct link, but it makes it easy. All right, in menus, you can choose this menu list to resemble, let's say, LXDE, an LXDE uh, menu list, or go with the default enlightenment. Um, in menus, I can uncheck favorites so that my favorites doesn't appear in this list because I have it on right click. Really cool stuff. Uh, easy stuff. You know, if you're using, you have a panel, it's easy to configure. You don't have to worry about it. And E17 is really light. Let's go to, let's go to modules. All right, extensions, modules. Here I can add a clock to my desktop really easy. Now the clock is really kind of, it's kind of boring. It's already loaded in system. I did that earlier. You'd have to check, check it. All right, close it. Make sure the module's loaded. And I go down here, settings, gadgets, background, configure layer. I can pick the clock, add gadget and the clock ends up over on the desktop and you can resize it. Can you get it bigger than that? There, you know, and there you go, you've got a clock with seconds. I can take that seconds hand away, pretty cool. Clock, settings, take the seconds away. Apply, close, no second hand. Uh, let's close it. And if I just want to get rid of it, I just right click, uh, settings. Oh, wait, sorry, that was too easy, messed up, too easy. I just remove it. There's just a remove button and it's gone, gone. Pretty simple, lots of settings. Yep, E17, window size, that's big, man. Big! I tell you, let's shrink it down again. You know, that's too big. You don't want the calculator so big? Fine. Close it. Open it. It's exactly how you wanted it. But the panel, the panel's really easy. I love that. I love that I can choose the icons I want. Oh, let's let's go into shelf uh, shelf settings. I can have a shelf here, 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 all over the place. I can choose what size I want. Uh, if I click shrink content, and now I don't have the shelf going all across the bottom. Well, you know, that's standard stuff, but it's easy. Of course, height size, you can, you can make the height size bigger. Let's we'll go back to 32. 32 might be a little big anyway, but what the heck. Um, you can turn compositing off. You can set scale really easy when you first load E17. You can pick how big you want everything to be. 
I love this. I love E17. I dread the day that I can't load it. Uh, and like I said, you know, there may be a time where I can't use this old E17.6 uh, Enlightenment because uh, I like having my places, even if it they say it causes trouble, but I've got it working. So I want to thank you for uh, tuning in. Maybe I showed you some cool stuff that you, you didn't know about if you've never tried Linux before. Uh, if you got any questions, ask away. Okay, and uh, thanks for looking!